Hey Pisces, welcome to Live, Laugh, Love, Tear It. Today we're delving into the next 48 hours, what to expect, okay? This can play out past, present, or future, so take it how it resonates, if it resonates for you. Any and everything that has to do with myself and the channel will be down below in the description box. I want to say thank you for all of the likes, subscribes, tips, donations, bookings, support of any kind to the brand, as well as the channel is greatly appreciated, okay? Let's go ahead and delve into the next 48 hours for Pisces Spirit, please, and thank you. Pisces, I want to say right off the bat, um, have you been feeling like you've been just sharing too much of yourself lately? Have you been feeling like you have been just talking too much? It's the energy of that. Um, here we have fear. In the next 48 hours, uh, you could be met with some type of hesitation and an insecurity, okay? But know that you are protected. Also, denial came out as well. Repressed emotions, rejection, unable to see below the surface. There is some type of energy you have been feeling in denial about. And this specific energy is fear. We also have surrender. So now is the time. Um, in the next 48 hours, you may be called to surrender to the divine. Surrender to the things that you aren't able to control. Okay, You could be in denial that you're currently in fear. And how we know that you're in fear or in denial about being in fear is the fact that you need to surrender. It says detach, trust, free fall, have faith that all will be well in the end. So Pisces, you may be in denial right now that you're a little bit fearful, okay? But just surrender to the divine. You don't need to know all the answers right now. If we part the deck, we have healing. So if anything needs to take place, it's some type of healing, okay? In the next 48 hours, focus on self-care. Take time out and be gentle with yourself and your twin. You could be in a twin flame connection and you could be in denial about that. Here we have the hidden path. Detour, a slowdown, explore and going in a new direction. I feel like you may be called to surrender to a connection that you're fearful of, Pisces, in the next 48 hours. I feel as though you will surrender, though. This is like something unbeknownst to you. This is like a hidden path that presents itself. And I feel like you're going to step up to the plate for it. So here we have Queen of Cups. So this could be the feminine energy that you're going towards. I'm getting that you're in a masculine energy, all right? Because you're trying to control a lot of things. You're action-oriented. You're trying to get a lot of things done in a, and have a desired result. But there is some stagnancy here because you can't control every component. Look, with the Five of Cups here. Hmm. Yeah, four of wands. This is surely a twin flame connection, Pisces, that you find yourself in. Is it somebody that you can't stop thinking about? Somebody's social media that you can't stop checking? This person is the one that got away. It's like you didn't really notice just who they were until they were gone. This is somebody that you could have prejudged. This is somebody that you could have been fearful of because they could have ignited things within you. In the next 48 hours, mm. I see a sudden change happening within this connection. Something unexpected, a new path, a new hidden path is going to present itself to you towards, and, and it's going to drive you towards this connection that you've been yearning for, right? This person is still open to you, all right? But it's like some part of this is not going to be able to be controlled. You're needing to surrender to the higher power that is presenting this relationship for you. You have to go within with this hermit card. It's like really focusing on self and self-love. And then you're all you're able to offer that to another person, your person, okay? How are you going to know who this person is? They could be a water sign, okay? Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, like yourself. Or this person could just be somebody that's highly intuitive. They could be a tarot reader like myself. They could be a spiritualist. They could be someone that just follows their intuition above else, um, above all things, you know. Um, this is somebody that is lovable, is very kind, is charitable, and liked by many people. 
but to you it could have came off wrong like this person was attention seeking it's something like that that you looked at this person in the wrong light okay yeah with the eight of wands here i really see you reaching out to them as soon as you figure out what's going on with you okay smash that like button if you're a pisces out there and you've been going through a lot of changes all right especially since this last full moon okay this is a timeless reading so whenever you're seeing it that's when it's meant for you with the king of swords here i do see you being a little strict a little lack of emotion here and with the nine of pentacles you're single you could be new newly single okay um for some of you all i'm getting at you know um since you've separated from this person you kind of been a little cold-hearted in a way look back and ask yourself have you been a little distant from your emotions lately pisces Hmm. it's like you're still looking and you're seeing something about this person and you're like damn they're still happy they're still going on about their life with the nine of cups here but it's like you want to be a part of this life that this person is living but it's like you didn't find out that you really wanted them until after the fact until you went within and really did some soul searching about why this connection makes you feel the way that you feel with the Ace of Wands here, I do see a new beginning wanting to take place. And it could happen after a sexual encounter. With the Five of Swords here, I see you really trying to win this person back. Okay, um, but just don't go above and beyond. Just don't go over the top, okay? Here we have the Two of Cups. This card shows that there is an equal connection between the two of you all, like a soulmate dynamic. Whereas just as you find fulfillment from this person, they too find fulfillment from you. I feel like this person is going to be open, but the elephant in the room is about a third party connection. I do see reconciliation here, but it's just like, well, why did you push me away before with the lover's card here and the Ten of Pentacles? So it's like, I see you really expressing that you want to have longevity with this person. I really see you expressing that you want to blend families if you have children. And I also see some type of business between the two of you all, okay? Some type of entrepreneurship that you may have together i see y'all making some money together okay with the two of swords here really blocking everything else out this is real interesting with the four of swords pisces you're really going to start to fall back from any other options that you've had you're really concentrating on this person and it's like this time around you really want to show them how you feel see look with the eight of pentacles here you're really going to put in work when it comes to this dynamic, okay? And it's like, I'm getting an energy where the first time around, you kind of really did it, okay? And with the Three of Pentacles here, wanting to be a team player. Hmm. You may be um, networking with this person, introducing them to a lot of different people that you know, Pisces. With the Nine of Wands here, it's definitely been a long time coming, okay? And I really see you trying to show this person, like, look, I really care about you. I really want to offer you stability. I really want you to see that I really want to give to this connection and nurture it. You know, with this Page of Pentacles, I feel like left and right, you're going to be offering things to this person, okay? Yeah, with the Two of Pentacles, you are back and forth in your head. Um, how will... The two of you all come together in the end. Let's see. Moving forward for Pisces for the next 48 hours. Their person's energy. Their energy. What can we expect moving forward? Page of Wands. It says, I am always open to good news. So when you come and approach this person, they're going to be open to you. This is somebody that is bubbly. You know, um, high vibe for sure. Definitely going to be open to you, okay? This person could still kind of talk to you off and on, Pisces. Uh, this person definitely still cares for you in many ways with the death card here. There is some type of transformation. I let go and embrace new beginnings. So as this offer comes in, this person is going to be lighthearted. They're going to see how you're going to approach them. All right. With the death card here, I definitely see some type of transformation with the eight of pentacles due to you putting in work. I dedicate myself to what I believe in and what you're starting to believe in is this connection. Okay. 
get a little bit of clarity. This card wanted to come out. Ten of Pentacles comes out again. So a lot of finances between you and this person, okay? It says, I celebrate everything I achieve. So this is the type of person that are, is going to be rooting rooting you on. Um, this is not, I'm not getting a hater energy at all. This is going to be like your uh, right hand in a way, like a best friend, but a lover connection, like a partnership. Okay. I even see marriage later on down the line. This is like a twin flame connection. Okay. Where you see this person as being your other half, almost a lot of things within you um, are drawn to each other and you really ignite each other like evolve each other in many different ways it's like a constant level up whenever you're around each other okay and it's also like a mirror to oneself that allows you to evolve further and through that process the two of you all are going to be very abundant together okay this is like a ordained um connection from the heavens with the four pinnacles here it says i trust i am always safe and protected See, here comes that trust here where you can hold on to something tangible. But first, you have to let go of that fear so that you can allow that stability to come in. And how that's going to come in is by surrendering to the divine, being easy on yourself and being easy on the person that you want to approach. Just go for what you know, Pisces. I promise you it's going to turn out good. Let me get one more for moving forward for Pisces next 48. The star card. I am inspired and positive about the future. So I feel like things are going to go really good. I feel like you're going to step back into your full potential, your full power, Pisces. And this is something very strong. Okay. I feel like you are an intellectual, but I feel like you're like this diamond in a rough um, that is very smart and creative in many ways. And I feel like this person matches that vibe. So if you've been looking for a vibe like this, Pisces, you're definitely going to get it. But it is coming like a second time around. So maybe this time it's to stay because that's what it's looking like. It's looking like something tangible and with the four pinnacles that can either be something being let go of or something held on to. The bottom deck is the high priestess. My intuition guides me to truth. It's almost as if your intuition starts to awaken because this person is so intuitive. They hold up a mirror to you, Pisces. And you're like, well, what have I been doing? Have I been following my inner knowing? What's to me? Really um, delving into who you are. How long has it been, Pisces, before you have really delved back into the recesses of your mind or into your soul with who you truly are? Over time, a lot of things present themselves to you and it may get you off of that hidden path, right? But at the same time, I feel like your inner knowing is still there and you're going to re reunite with that strong intuition that you have as well within the next 48 hours queen of pentacles we have er we have the queen of pentacles i have everything i need to prosper the person you're approaching is this queen of pentacles queen of cups energy okay somebody that is very intuitive and they could get paid um for this intuitive ability we also have the ten of swords i see truth in this ending see now it's a purpose here this past situation served a purpose. It's like you didn't realize what you had until it was gone, but another opportunity comes through. Through that ending, it's a lesson. And that lesson allows you to have a second chance at truly appreciating what it is that you want or what's really for you. What's the outcome for Pisces next 48? Vulnerability. I see you being a lot more vulnerable in the next 48 hours, Pisces, especially with this person. You had this wake up call. All right. And the wake up call was if you want something, you have to go get it. But not only that, you have to be vulnerable enough. See, before you were withdrawn a little bit emotionally. And it's almost as if you started to realize what was missing. Maybe you care for this person a lot more than you allowed yourself to realize at the past moment, but at the current moment, you're definitely realizing it. 
we also have submerged. I feel like you're so submerged in this connection. You can, I mean, I don't feel codependency, but it's like you can leave this if you want. So much of your being is tied in with this person. It's almost like a strong soul tie. And I feel like you're awakening to that soul connection in the next 48 hours. The bottom deck is innocence. There is an innocence that protects this uh, partnership. And that is what you're surrendering to as well. Hmm. This person also, you and this person are very creative. And there's a spark within that inner child. Okay. It really makes this a divine connection because that creativity, that spark within you is the divine trying to express itself through your life. Here we have that vision quest. Somebody here has been manifesting on that quest to obtain what it is that you envision your life to be. So in the next 48 hours, an opportunity is going to present itself for you to do just that. Become a little bit vulnerable and wake up to the connection that you find yourself so submerged in. But will you do a Pisces? If this message resonated with you, smash that like button. And if you want to see more reads like this one, smash that like button. Thanks for your love and support as always. Until then, peace and love.